You know, for me, I like to say, you know, because you don't want um, there to be unrest and division um, and so that your movie can do well. That's not that's not how you see things. But at the same time, I, you know, I'm really you want uh, things to hit people when they're 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 able to listen. And so when we were going to put this out before, there were some people who, who, you know, still thought we lived in a race free society, even though we had Ferguson, we had Trayvon Martin, we had so many things popping up, you know, but it's so clear now that this has been underneath the surface. And that is sort of the 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 beauty of doing this film about a case in Bridgeport. Because at that time, you would think, well, that's happening in the South. You know, uh, you know, you expect that sheriff chewing tobacco and the judge with the, with the, the, with the dog, that whole thing, that, that stereotype of this is what racism looks like. But in this movie, it looks like us. It looks like where we are, you know, very much like where we are now. You ask, well, why is it still that way? So it, it's, it's great that during this time when it's most needed, when people can actually see it, you know, that we have this, um, this piece of entertainment that people will walk out, you know, all of a sudden feeling like, oh, actually, I got something from that. Yeah, and I would also add that, that in these times, it's easy to tell very cynical stories. It's easy to deliver messages, as you said. A lot of times, these kinds of movies feel like medicine. Like, they almost feel like we're trying to force feed you a very powerful message. Pay attention. This movie offers a message of hope. It offers a message of empowerment, which I think is really cool and refreshing. And at its core, and I said this backstage, it's essentially a superhero origin story. I know you're getting ready to do a, bi a bigger version of one, but it's oh, essentially... Yeah, what, what's that? <laughs> but it's essentially... The White a, Leopard. Yeah, I'm, I'm starring in a movie called The White Leopard. I keep telling I'm Chad there's going to be a crossover for looking, sure. Looking forward to Trump's tweet about that yes. movie. <laughs> so, you know, what, what's so cool about this is instead of these superheroes wearing capes, they wear suits and ties. Instead of them knocking somebody out with a single punch, they knock them out with one brief at a time. I think that that is such an important message right now because we do. We, we need to rally together and not feel like there's hopelessness or futility in fighting for people who need our help, but that as individuals, we can bring out the best in each other to rise up to the occasion, which is exactly what Thurgood Marshall's journey was all about, and subsequently how he created an, not just one individual, but an army of individuals willing to fight with him, a la Sam. 